Hi parents, soon to be parents, and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. And in our today's video, we will learn about how to teach our kids responsibility at home. Let's begin. How to teach our kids responsibility? How can we involve our children in household choirs? I am very sure this phrase is familiar to you. Why haven't you cleaned your room yet? While our child is on the couch watching YouTube or playing virtual games, shouting back, I'll do it later, mom. Or, they say nothing and just ignore us. For sure you will agree with me when I say, involving our kids with household chores is a great way to teach responsibility around the house. So keep on watching so you will learn how to encourage your children to participate in household tasks. Our lives as parents are increasingly busy these days, especially when pandemic started and sometimes it's hard to find time to accomplish everything around the house. And one way to balance work and play is to combine them and involve the whole family in doing household chores. For example, doing the dishes or simply a good try. So here are some parenting tips on how to involve children in household chores. Number 1. Give your young children simple tasks. Children as young as 2 years old can be given household chores such as helping taking clothes out of the dryer, putting their clothes away, cleaning up after a meal by throwing away the paper napkins or wiping tables or counters, carrying backpack from the car into the child's care or turning off lights at bedtime. Keep expectation realistic when children are very young or chores are new. The goal is establishing the routine and teaching kids responsibilities rather than how clean the table is or how neatly folded his clothes are. Number 2. Try to have fun. Family chores can be fun for children. Doing laundry can involve games such as sorting, matching, and tossing sacks in the baskets. Listening to music can add some life to chores. A little song and dance can become a part of doing chores together. You can do the laundry while pretending to be robots or characters from a favorite movie, or have a room-to-room -room singing contest where each child takes turns singing one song loudly. From the room, he or she is cleaning up. Number 3. Involve children in the decision-making process. You have to listen and give clear choices about tasks. You can ask your children like, what chores are you interested in doing? Would you prefer to clear the table or put the dishes in the dishwasher? But of course, you have to remember that you are your children's boss and it's okay to assign household chores that they may not want to do. Number 4. Make a list of all the housework. Then, 
you have to divide the task up into daily, weekly, monthly, and seasonal. And then, present your list in the family meeting so everyone sees all the chores and give your children choices. You can organize the chores and or checklist in a fun way, such as having charts, desk or walk, calendar, a dry erase board on the fridge, or stickers for your little ones. You should be always get creative. Number 5. Be consistent And we all know that this goes for every aspect of parenting. You have to make the chores a regular part of the family routine. And expect that everyone over the age of 3 can be responsible for certain tasks to keep the household functioning. Getting your child to do chores becomes a battle when you allow it to grow into one. If you are standing over your kids telling them over and over again to empty the dishwasher, clean the kitchen, and they are digging their heels in and still not complying, then you are in a battle. And as the parents, you need to end the battle. Because if you don't end the battle, then you get caught in the nagging cycle. And the problem with nagging, of course, is that it doesn't work. So, replace your nagging with the tips I mentioned and put an end to the chores battle once and for all. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video or you learned something, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. And click the link below description to help you with your positive parenting solution. Thank you for watching again guys and I hope to see you on my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.